Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC. GPAC, growing people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by Thomas Huddle of the Concordia St. Paul men's golf team. Thomas, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, before we get to a historic week for Concordia St. Paul, tell us a little bit about yourself. So uh, I'm a senior at Concordia St. Paul. I'm from Lake City, Minnesota. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been playing golf for my whole life. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Lake City, Minnesota, the Jewel. Is that the golf course down there? Yep, that's Correct. the golf course down there. Correct. Yeah. That used to be the host for the NSIC championships. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, it used to be about uh, four or five, six years ago before they moved down south. But um, you said you've been playing golf your whole life. Uh, what was it that got you into the game of golf? Uh, it's kind of been through my family. You know, my great grandpa, my grandpa and my dad have all played golf and they're all pretty good. So they kind of brought me into it. Well, I had to be proud this weekend. Uh, what a weekend for Concordia St. Paul at the Men's Golf Championship. Uh, you led wire to wire and earned NSIC medalist honors. But uh, bigger than that, you helped the Golden Bears to their first NSIC Men's Golf Championship. Uh, we're almost a week removed, but has it sunk in yet that you're NSIC champion? Uh, I think it has, yeah. Uh, right away, I don't think it's set in completely, but, you know, now it's been a few days, It's it feels pretty good. To get to those rounds, you came out and you fired an opening round two under par in the first round down at Adams Point in Blue Spring, Missouri. Uh, what was it that was working for you in that first round? Um, so I think I knew it was going to be playing kind of tough with the wind, uh, but the course, but the course overall was, uh, course conditions were phenomenal. And I think we just had to stay patient and hit good shots, safe shots, and, you know, just let it happen. In round two, you continued to hold the lead. You shot a one over 73, uh, any major differences between that first and second round? Uh, I think nerves, I was definitely very nervous for the second round, which definitely affected how I hit the ball a little bit, but I still kind of held it together and tried to play the best I could. So nerves entering the fourth round, or I'm sorry, the third round on Saturday, the Golden Bears trailed up Araya by four strokes. You were tied for the lead. Uh, what did Coach Ramirez preach to her team before that final round of play? Uh, I think the our like, key to success for the week was patience. That was the one that she pushed hard. Uh, just kind of stay patient, let things happen, you know, just kind of roll with the punches. If you hit a bad shot, you know, just hit the safe shot out and try to make the best score you could. You can't tell someone to be patient. You need to let them understand why they need to be patient. How did you take her message of being patient and implement that on the course more than just her telling you to be patient? What did you do to actually be patient out there? Uh, you know, it's like take my time, go through my uh, shot progression, just try to be as repetitive as I could, hit the same shots every time. Or, you know, I think another rule that we had was, was the 90% rule. If you can hit the shot 90% of the time, you can hit it. But if you can't, just pick a different shot and, you know, play it safe. The team definitely responded with a tournament low round 290 to run away with the championship. Uh, with the shotgun start and everyone playing at once on Saturday, um, did you know how close it was coming down to the end? Um, I think I knew within my group, you know, where we kind of sat, but I had, I had no clue where everybody else was at on my team and the other teams. So I think when I got in, I think when I looked at the leaderboard, it was definitely like, I was kind of shocked, but at the same time, I was like, I knew our team could do it. You know, we put ourselves in a good position after the second round and we just had to play our game and, you know, just let things happen. So talk about that coming in the clubhouse. Was the rest of the team there? Was coach there? How was it? What was that kind of that, um, that moment when you found out you're NSIC champion, both overall oh, medalist yeah. and. Uh... So, yeah, I was actually, I started on one and there was nobody ahead of me. So I was actually the first group done. So I made my par on 18 and then, you know, I think coach Peter came up to me and he congratulated me. And then he said, all right, we got to go get the rest of the guys in because they were all behind me yet. And then, you know, I went over, saw my parents and my dad was the one that told me that our team had, you know, like 10 shot lead. And then I just kind of watched everybody come in behind me and it's pretty exciting. It's been an awesome feeling, a uh, great performance by you. Um, before others made the trip down for the Golden Bears, tell us about your teammates. So yeah, uh, Taylor Zach, Kurt Lambert, Hunter Robinson, and Brandon Sperling, they've, they've all played really good golf all year. And I think it was a great time for us to all come together and play really good golf all at once. I think, you know, we, we kind of had our ups and downs, you know, we had a couple guys didn't play their best, but you know, we always had that one guy that came in and, 
you know, picked up a little bit and shot better. So it was kind of good there. And then Brandon Sperling, I think he, that final round that he put together 68, that was, that was a big round for us. And I, that's what helped us seal the deal. And tournament low round for him there. Uh, that earned a trip to the NCAA regional for your team with the victory. Uh, what does it mean to you, your team in this program to win the championship and then move on to the national stage? I think that's a big turning point for our program. It's our first conference or yeah, first conference championship. Uh, I know we've sent individuals previous years to regionals, but for us to go as a team, I think that's going to be very beneficial to the program and, you know, help with recruiting and stuff and help us better our program in the future years. The regionals down at Purgatory Golf Course in Indiana. How do you prepare for a tournament like that? I think we just got to keep things the same, you know, I practice, you know, have competitions, stay competitive, but, you know, relaxed and fun at the same time. And, you know, just kind of go to some courses that are very similar to the Purgatory Club and, you know, learn how to hit some of those shots or how to deal with some similar conditions. All right. And last question before we let you go, uh, you're a senior this year. Uh, what are your plans post Concordia St. Paul and post golf? Um, you know, I think I'm still trying to find a job, applying, looking for jobs and then just, you know, stay competitive with golf, play in summer tournaments through the MGA or USGA and, you know, just have fun with it. All right, Thomas. Well, have fun when you head down to regionals uh, in a couple of weeks down in Indiana. Best of luck to you, the Golden Bears. Thanks again to our sponsor, GPAC. Uh, Thomas, best of luck to you, the Golden Bears, the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks for having me.